Hello, Rich Kids. It's Victor here and Amanda. We are so excited that you can join us this week and we are trekking along in our fruits of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And what is it this month or what is it this week? Uh, it's patience. Ooh, that patience. one's a tough one. Yeah. Um, for me, patience is one thing that really I struggle with is when I'm in a good mood, and I come into a room and everybody else is in a bad mood. And I just all of a sudden, like, I lose them, like, ah, why can't you just be happy? And I lose my patience and I get a little bit, of, you know, get a little bit, like, upset through that. I would say mine is when I have a plan and it, something goes wrong in that plan. Like, if I wake up in the morning and I have a plan of how my morning's going to go and then something goes wrong, ooh, I have a tendency to lose my patience. And these are both great examples what are some ways that you guys lose your patience? And when you lose your patience, what's one way that you can do a little bit better? For me, in that situation, when everybody's kind of mad, I have to remove myself from that situation. I just have to be able to say, hey, you know what? I need five quiet minutes to just go, take a deep breath, and realize not everybody can have the same happy mood, that, be in the same happy mood that I'm in. For me, I do also take a deep breath, and I have to remember that I'm not in control. And that it might be a small annoyance, but I can't let it affect the rest of my day. And so I try to take that deep breath and go, okay, God, you're in control. I'm better now. And then move on with it because you don't really want a little bad moment to ruin the rest of your day. You have so many good opportunities. So as you watch this video, think of a way that you might lose your patience and how you can find a way to keep that patience through that tough situation. And know always that we're praying for you guys. Have a great week and enjoy the sunshine. Mm. Bye!
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Holly and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. <sighs> oh, hey friends. And this is my new friend Nemo. Say hi, Nemo. Nemo says he likes you. I got Nemo to remind me of our trip to the beach. See, I even put shells in his tank like at the beach and some rocks around it. This is Nemo's special fish food. It's so much fun to feed him and watch him eat. I can't wait to show you. But we can't do it yet. If you feed a fish too much, they get sick. We have to wait until both hands on the clock get here. That's so long! <sighs> Waiting is so hard! Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Poppy. Who? Who? What is that you're waiting to do? Hey, Ollie. I'm waiting to feed my fish until the clock hands are in the right place. But it's taking so long. Waiting isn't easy. It's true. I know someone else who waited too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Hola, friends. I'm Luis. Have you ever had to wait for something? Like to open a present at Christmas, or at the back of a long line, or for a jack-in-the-box to open? Oh! <laughs> yes, it's hard to wait sometimes, isn't it? <laughs> and I've got a story for you about that. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer. Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Our true story from the Bible is about a man named Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he knew that God was sending someone very special. God told Simeon that he would get to see this very special person. But Simeon didn't know when this very special person was going to come. He had to be patient and wait and wait. Wait. And wait. And wait. And wait. He was so patient. He didn't whine and say, Oh, this is taking too long. Or, When is it going to be over? <coughs> Instead, Simeon was patient and waited. Then, one day, just like God promised, Mary and Joseph brought baby Jesus to the temple. Jesus was the special person that Simeon was waiting for. God's son Jesus was finally here. He had come to be our friend forever. And when Jesus is your friend, he helps you choose to be patient. Like when you want to tell your mom something, but she's on the phone. Choose to be patient and wait with a smile. Or 
when there's a long line for the bouncy house and you have to wait. Choose to be patient and make a new friend. <laughs> when you have a long car ride and you're ready to get there, choose to be patient and sing a song. <laughs> When you're waiting for dinner to be ready and you're so hungry, choose to be patient and find a way to help. You can do it. Jesus can help you choose patience. Jesus can help you do everything. Hey there, Ollie. Tell me, who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. Yes, it's true. Now, let's hear it from you. Tell me. Who can help you do everything? Jesus can help me do everything. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! <laughs> so there's your story, and it's all true. Simeon waited patiently to see Jesus, and we can learn to wait patiently too. Thanks, Ali. Goodbye to you. Who? Ooh. Wow! Simeon waited patiently a long time for Jesus. Waiting is hard, but Jesus can help me choose patience. Patience can change the world! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say, got it! Get it? Got it! Good! Hey! One of our painted rocks from the beach has a clock on it. This can remind me to choose patience. It's time! We can feed Nemo now! Mmm, look how his little mouth goes! Nibble, nibble, nibble! See you next time! I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13 I can do everything through Christ who gives me strength. Philippians 4.13